how come people don't feel responsible? Am I that silly that I feel responsible? Because I do feel responsible. I feel really responsible for, for all kinds of things. And uh, I know that I have a very limited ability to change things and transform things, but where I can, I want to. Why don't other people feel that way? In such a cruel, shitty world, why would you add to the pile? Really, right? Why would you give in and say, fuck it, you know what? I'm gonna be a dick. I'm gonna completely fuck around and be a selfish cunt, you know, not give a shit about anyone, make the world even worse, and you know what? At the end of my life, I'm gonna be alone. You know what? Why? I think that's, it's pointless. You see? That's immigration too. And what they immigrate here right now is because there is no job on their countries. And why there is no job on their countries? I can keep talking. It's okay? <laughs> why? Because we impose on them what we think that is good for them from here. Be you, but I... D O M don't T H think P B people A R at W H wheel trans T H think I O of T H E these these things T H E they just T think O of I T it a as a B U S business. But now we have the resources here in the north. We're supposed to be very honest ourselves and then tell them what to do, but, but not, sorry, not tell them what to do. But first we have to do the right thing, but we don't. The reality is that it's all the opposite. And, and I guess I almost got, I got confused between um, like what people do and who they are. Myself, so yeah. Could you believe the uh, hospital staff, possibly a nurse, offered me Prozac? Um, knowing that I was pregnant. I refused to take the Prozac, obviously, because I wasn't planning to have a child that is abnormal or have defects. When I was 20 years old, I went to the United States and I worked in the underground economy. And it's going on here since, I mean, by a thousand of people, millions of people like that. You know, because it's stopped me from dealing with the things that I needed to. You know, instead of facing my fears and facing the things that were difficult, I, you know, stuck a needle in my arm and it didn't matter. So, you know, that's a really easy thing to do. You know, once you get over the fear of poking yourself, that is the easiest way to take away all the pain. Make yourself able to get out there, walk down the street, you know, feel good, talk to people, socialize. Um, you know, your emotions aren't quite so heavy. They're not as sharp. Everything's just sort of glazed over and it's all sunshine and rainbows, right? Um, but when it's not there, that's, that's, that's the thing. It's the biggest void you'll ever feel. And it's, it doesn't leave any room for ignoring it. You can't just tune it out. Um, and I think, you know, we've been doing drugs forever, right? And there's a place for it, but certain drugs, you know, it, they should, they should really, really just not exist. Because when you have a generation of people who doesn't, they don't have work, and your father doesn't have work, and then you, you don't go to school. And you go looking for work and there is no work. So what do you do? <laughs> like in Central America, you, 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 it's very easy to go into the game 
Or if you are in, in, in the countryside, you are a farmer, it's easy to grow marijuana or to grow cocaine instead of other crops because it's the only thing that give you money. I'm the bottom line. I'm the bottom line. I'm the end user, right? And all these evil people make money off it. And in the end, you know, it bolsters our economy. Argentina is growing and people are going to school and the government is giving subsidy to all the single the, 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 the people who have children because the children have to eat, have to go to school and things are improving. And the International Monetary Fund, they just have a release. They criticize Argentina. They are not doing what they are telling. They are going in the wrong, in the wrong Still, that they have nothing to do because they, they pay them, still criticize us. They, they said, no, Argentina is going in the wrong direction. And we are growing. And here we have the biggest crisis for a long, long time. Right now here, United States, it's a huge deficit. And that's, that's the scariest part, is knowing that, you know, something that I did, that I walked into willingly, is part of something that I hate, you know that I can't stand um, and that I'm willingly feeding into it. When you don't have an adult around to sort of advocate for you or, or defend you, you know, you learn to um, act out, you know, because that's the only way that you can create distance. Um, and then being poor, right, you know, creates a certain element of shame. So I really did feel like a part of my life had been destroyed and I felt like part of my life had been taken away from me and part of that it makes me feel really sad but at the same time it makes me just like think about how some people also don't have childhoods like they are forced to like go and become mature right away or as I did get that even though I can't remember it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was 12 years old in group homes, really intelligent, um, not used to any sort of discipline at all. So they started putting me on medications. So I got diagnosed as a psychotic, as um, depressed, anxious, all sorts of things. They just gave me blanket diagnoses. Like, um, at one point, I was in a group home for two years, and this group home had uh, actually killed an autistic girl, and I had told you about that before. Um, they had me go to a psychiatrist. I was very high-functioning, and I just wanted some freedoms, the ability to walk down the street for five minutes. Um, instead, I got a heavy adult dose of an antipsychotic. Um, so I think I learned really young to um, control everything with drugs, you know, and then that, that's pretty much taken over, you know, most of my adult life working out those issues. When I was younger, it was easier for me to make friends because, you know, if you're in a sandbox and someone's playing with a toy and you're like, oh, that's a cool toy, can I play with you? People are like, yeah, for sure. On the other hand, if you're in high school and you ask someone, can I play with you, they'll just look at you and run away. Um, that happened to me once, because <laughs> I was I was not sure how to like, approach people, because of me losing my memory. I wasn't sure. I was actually I felt like I became a younger like I lost my memory and became a younger person, like in my mind. Only in recent years have I really, really um, learned to be myself. You know, um, calm, much more calm. I spend a lot of time alone now, and I just spend time getting to know myself, getting to know my options. Um, I'm making decisions on my own and um, trying to figure out uh, what to do with my life. I think about time a lot because I spend a lot of time on my own. I really like spending time on my own. I like, uh, I like having lots of space. I don't, uh, I don't know why people don't make time. 